Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed today, August 30, 2014, 11 p.m. Birmingham, Alabama. And topic this one is Kenneth Copeland joined the Pope in a unity. And um, my point here is that I have been hearing, listening to, reading a lot of churches who are not preaching the true word and that who are forgoing the knowledge that they know or that they have taught or learned from the Bible that uh, they're just defecting from the faith. I mean, what else can I say? And I'm going to give you the title, and it's called The Truth Hurts, Lies Kill, Hillsong, H-I-L-L-S-O-N-G slash Islam, The Pope slash Copeland, and Corrupt Christian Music. Here's what it's saying. Now, I listen to this. It's, it's not but a few minutes. Last night, and I was blown away that Kenneth Copeland got up on a stage and said what he said. Hillsong United London 2013. Aside from their leader claiming that it, and this is their leader, the Pope, Aside from their leader claiming that Islam and Christianity is the same, notice the pyramid on their concert slash conference custom stage. The pyramid, the pyramid, like the one you see above on the dollar bill, you got a pyramid and then you got a Steps above the pyramid that is unfinished. That unfinished is meant to be finished in our day. But if you look on the bill, you'll see it. Now, what I just read to you, that's where you can find it. Just look it up. Truth Hurts. Hillsong slash Islam. The Pope slash Copeland. Kenneth Copeland agreed with everything that the Pope said. They're saying that atheists can go to heaven. Churches don't lie, but yet here they are lying openly. Look, guys, our churches aren't preaching the truth today. There's very few of them. There is a big fancy church down in Texas here where they teach you how to feel real good, but they don't teach you how to accept Christ. And I'm not talking about John Hagee. John Hagee teaches fire and brimstone. He always has. He always will. He teaches and preaches the word what comes out of the Bible. But there's another church, fancy church, around Houston area, Dallas, that's not doing that. They're just getting you there to feel good, give them a few bucks and go home. Look, we are approaching a time of no return, a point of no return. It's about to come upon us. And this is the last pope. And if you look at the the all the books has just been recently written about it. This is the last pope, and this is an old man. So take it for what it's worth. I don't know how long he'll live, but he'll be here when the Antichrist will come to power. He will be in his seat where he is right now when the Antichrist comes to power. And another thing, the four blood moons. I'll throw this in there. The four blood moons. Well, what has happened? From the first blood moon, which was back in April, what, the 15th, somewhere in there, I think it's the 15th, maybe it's the 28th, I don't remember. And today, in the second blood moon, that's going to come in just two or three months, August, September, October, about two and a half months. A lot has happened in a very bad way. Look at the 
nonstop violence that has hit Israel since that blood moon. It started right after the blood moon, y'all. We have John Kerry that's going down there, and he's worse than Hillary Clinton. But he, he's 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 going down there every time he goes to Israel. He treats Benjamin Netanyahu like a schoolboy. That Benjamin Netanyahu puts him in his place real quick, and then John Kerry comes home and pouts a while, then goes back. Well, I know there's a number of times that he's been and a number of times that this country has been slapped upside the head with a judgment. Look what happened to the market the last two weeks. It's going to keep happening. We've got a market that's fixing to tumble and be cut down from 17000 to probably about 8000 We'll have a money that will become worthless soon. All kinds of bad stuff is happening, y'all. Depart from the faith is the number one thing that's happening in this country. In this country, Kenneth Copeland is doing his very best to get the rest of the world to follow him and join in the Pope, which has long departed from the faith. Because if you say that atheists can go to heaven, or if you say your works can get you to heaven, or if you say all Muslims go to heaven, you're lying. You're lying. The Bible says you don't speak the truth, you lie. And for that, you'll be judged. You'll be punished. Stop listening to that stuff and read in the Bible what it says, John 3, 16, one way, one, no other way. One way. And, and and I'm panicky because we're about to have a rapture, y'all. We're about to go. And while if you if you're standing there and your friend disappears or your wife or your child, I don't even want to think about that. But I know one thing, if you and I are standing together together and you're not saved, you'll see me disappear like you turned out a light. Bye, Jody Wolf, Exposed.